Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Cruise Ship Manager. So yeah, this is a game that uh, came across my inbox a, a little while ago, and um, it is coming out in early access on, I believe, the 22nd, but the developer gave me uh, early access to sort of a demo version of it uh, so I could uh, show it off to you guys. Uh, so and that's what we're going to do. The game, I, I played uh, a little bit before, uh, played through the tutorial and whatnot. Um, it's got some vibes of, of like Sim Tower to it, but on a cruise ship. It's, a, it's an interesting twist on the formula. So let's dive in. We got to play on whatever the defaults are. Full version will have all the tweaks and whatnot. Okay, so uh, like I said, I've gone through the tutorial, so I will be your tutorial. Um, so first step here, this 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 whole cruise ship thing uh, takes place in the Mediterranean. So we got to plan our cruise here, or at least our first cruise. Uh, so our ship is currently located here, uh, and we have two valid destinations: uh, Messina or Athens. Now um, Athens here, it's it's. A higher, it's a high ticket price, but recommended reputation of 110. We only have a reputation of 100. So this may be a little bit thick for our blood. Uh, Messina, on the other hand, this one might be a uh, might be a better one here. Not only do we have recommended reputation of 88, which we more than have more of, it's it's a little bit easier. I know lower risk, lower reward, but I mean this is our first cruise. We got to get our we got to get our feet wet, as it as it were. Um, not to mention this one has fifteen crew members to hire, and currently we have no crew members. This one only has five, so we have a much bigger pool of people to hire from if we go to Messina. Uh, so yeah, let's confirm our cruise. Now on to build mode, where we actually you know kit out our our ship here. Now the tutorial is going to force me to place some things um, here. I, I'm going to move these rooms to optimize things in a moment. And some of these I might not even use. Right then. So all right, now we have full control. So there's a couple of things to note here. Uh, one is that um, there are four different levels to the ship at the moment, and um, passengers come in from the bottom level, but they need to be able to get up to the upper levels. Um, and at the moment, you can see from the red lines here, there's no way to get up to the upper deck. So we need something to get them up there. Um, now, one thing I was looking at is we can, I know we built this diner here, but maybe we don't do the diner. What if we sell this room? get our money back. Um, and what if we do a club? Because the club, it takes up a lot of space, but it kind of acts like a um, like a stairway. Because you, you have stairs going up and down. So it acts as a stairway to give people functional access, but it's also a form of entertainment. Um, now then, if we go to utilities, we are going to need another stairway to actually get people up to the uh, the final final floor here, like that. That should be good. Now then, um, we do need some crew here. How much? We don't need as many work slots, which is a good thing. Um, we could probably get away with all right now. No pub. Yeah, 13 service slots, two work slots. Yeah, that's that's actually probably a better idea. I, I don't think we have the money to do both because keep in mind, we need a lot of passenger cabins. But what we can do is let's get two crew cabins because we need we have four work slots. But we This will give us uh, uh, six workers. And we'll move the one they forced me to place down here. So now that gives us six workers, four work slides. That gives us a couple of floaters to help our workers rest, but also get uh, lets them rotate in when other workers get tired and whatnot, as well as lets that lets us send them out to do odd jobs. Um, so that's probably the best bet here. Right then. Now the rest, the rest we're going to do um, cabins. Let's move this one over a smidge meter. 
these two are basically the same thing stat wise they they have they let people sleep they let people use the bathroom but that's it um, hmm we need to scooch that over by three tiles Oops, scooch it back because can we squeeze one here? Yes, we can. Oh, I love, I love efficiency. Okay, uh, this one we can squeeze over a little bit too. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think, I think we just keep going. The more passengers, the more better. Um, and yeah, we want them over here. Oh, I love the, I love the spacing on this. This one might be a good final place for the diner if when and if we get it. Um, I don't think we're going to have it available for this cruise, but although how much is the diner? Five, but it takes a lot of workers to run the diner. So yeah, you know what? I think we're going to go with just the club. We'll leave this, this area open for the diner on a future cruise once we're able to grow a little bit. But for now, I think we just get more rooms here. Now, just to space this out. Yeah, so just the diner here. We can't really squeeze anything else here, which is fine. We can get more cabins until we run out of money. Two more cabins to be exact, and that gives us $500 left in cash, which is fine. All right, let's see. So we're in blue build mode. Let's go to crew employment. So we need a captain, an engineer, a DJ, and a bartender. Captain needs organization skills first and foremost. So we do organization most skilled. Um, Wow, only level two. Well, well, we'll take what we can get. All right, engineer obviously needs engineering. Level three. Yeah, level three is fine. All right, uh, DJ needs entertainment and service. Do we have someone who has better entertainment and, or better service rather? Not really. Oh, at level three entertainment service. So actually, yeah, get rid of you, get you on here. Uh, and then bartender is gastronomy and service. Let's do gastronomy and then level two service ain't too bad either. And now we have two other floaters. So let's, yeah, let's do another, let's actually service seems to be the most uh, sort of well-rounded one here. So who's got the best service? We'll get you. You're cheap though. We'll get you. All right, there we go. We got our six people. Tickets. The higher your reputation, the easier it'll be to sell the expensive tickets. Yeah, we're not quite ready to do VIPs. We have a little extra money. Let's do some flyers and you know what? Let's bump the tickets up to say a hundred bucks. That might, that might, uh, that might get the people in for the all, in, the all inclusive ones. They might be willing to spend a bit more. Oh, all inclusive ticket pool. So how many tickets do we want to be all inclusive? Yeah, let's not mess with that. Let's just do the normal ticket. See what we can get, especially with flyers on here. And yeah, we got the full thing, especially with a little help from the flyers. Excellent. All right. Well, let's uh, now our resources, we, we come pre-stocked with uh, plenty of provisions and plenty of fuel. So we don't need to buy any more resources. Um, so we're going to go back to our harbor and we're going to set sail. All right. So now we actually have to assign all of the workers here. We have to tell them which, which room goes to which person. Um, so our, 
Yeah. You're going to be our captain. And then down here, this allows us to get everyone else. Hang on. Let's pause it while we... So Olga is going to be our engineer. Oops. And then we need a DJ. Uh, yep. Yeah. You're going to be our DJ. And then our bartender. There you go. And then the other two are just going to be floaters um, to help with odd jobs, but also um, take over when people uh, uh, get tired and whatnot. All right, so we are on the open sea. People waiting for the dance floor, waiting for the uh, bartender here. Ooh, level up. Our, um, oh, sure, her level, her entertainment skill leveled up. She must have just been on the cusp there. Well, that, that works. Now, there's going to be some people who um, don't, um, there's going to be some people who don't uh, um, want the club. They want the diner or they want something else. Um, yeah, see, this person wanted a, a restaurant, a diner, or a fitness room. So we're not really going to be able to, you know, get satisfied them fully. But, you know, we're, we're a young cruise ship. Also, there's little, um, there's special events here. Famous DJ set costs us 400 bucks. Or we can do a happy hour. Let's do a happy hour. I don't want to spend four. Oop. Uh, suggest rest. Yeah, when there's an exclamation point, you got to send out one of your, one of, some of your people out to help people out. Maybe someone's getting a little bit too thrashed out there on the dining room. And other things, you know, things break, things get dirty. That's why we wanted the extra, the two extra crew member floaters to help handle that. Ooh, and like that, stinky room. Send a patrol. Did not take uh, long for one of the rooms to get stinky. Oop. Suggest a rest. So in my last playthrough, I, I actually went with the, with the diner and it didn't have these suggest a rest problems crop up. So this must be a thing unique to the club. So different, different offerings cause different problems. Didn't I send somebody here? Someone's clean that stinky room. All right, people, people are vibing. People are having fun. We want to keep a look at our rating. And this is what our target is. So we got to get up a little bit further. We're not quite at our goal, but we got time. Somebody got a big plus nine bomb there too. And yeah, look at all the extra money we're getting from people spending on drinks. I'm glad we didn't do the all-inclusive. We want people to pay a la carte here. Speed things up just a little bit. We're 34% of the way through our cruise. Crew doing their thing. Just keeping an eye on things. I do like the fact that the, like you do have to manage things. It's not just a set the cruise and then, all right, here's how much money we made. There's, there's, there's some nuance to it. You gotta keep an eye on things. You gotta keep the ship afloat, both physically and metaphorically. But you see what I mean about this feeling like Sim Tower. Everyone has these little cutaway rooms that they visit. And lights turn on and off as needed. Oop, what is your... You got your clubs. So what are you angry about? Or is that somebody else that was all having the hissy fit? No, you have a... Uh, hunger, yeah. That's where we needed the diner, too. But, I mean... The diner doesn't provide fun, so if we did a diner and not instead of a club, then people would have no fun. So yeah, you know, it's only a couple of days cruise, you won't starve to death. And we are we are above our average happiness goal. So that's good. We just gotta hold it. We're halfway through. Now there's gonna be a pro, a couple of things cropping up here soon that's gonna make the latter half a little bit more hectic than the former half. 
And that's where people are going to start getting tired. And by people, I mean our employees. Um, and rooms are going to start getting dirtier. Who's... I'm going to click on the right person here. No, is it this person? So there we go. Suggest so rest. So we just sent Anna out to deal with them. Yeah, see, see this lower battery here? So when people are, are doing things, their skills drain. Oh, it also requires efficiency and diligence. So let's unassign you. And yeah, your gastronomy is there. So let's unassign you and then we'll have them trade places because individual skills. Now we have see it. I, I, I yanked the, the, I stopped the music suddenly and everyone got all angry about it. Um, actually, you know what, Anna? So work post is entertainment, not service. Yeah, you know what? Hilda, you're gonna you're gonna take over here. We're, we're flip flopping you, and then bartender is gastronomy and service. You know what? You're uh, you're you're an engineer. You know what? You're gonna need a break from engineering. So I'm gonna send the engineer to go bartend, uh, and then our engineer uh, Hilda's that. Paula, there you go. You you can moonlight as an engineer. And that also probably means our captain is going to need a little break, right? Yeah, our captain's getting tired. Um, Paula, there you go. Repli relieve our captain. And somebody, uh, some, somebody Clean up some messes here. Because someone, uh, so, someone made a bit of a mess here. I do like how the music stops when the DJ walks away and then starts back up again. Once, uh, once, once their replacement is there. All right, stinkiness has been cleaned up. And by stinkiness, I'm pretty sure that's barf. Yeah, so the, the fact that like individual skills get tired rather than the employee themselves get tired is an interesting mechanic. I haven't seen that before. Um, now, that being said, you, if you send a, a, an employee out to just rest, they'll recover all their skills a lot faster and recharge their batteries. So, And I think there are some like ancillary skills that play into these. Um, that might be why they're still showing the batteries, but we're 71% of the way there. Oop, and we got some... So we got to send Anna there. Anna goes there. And then the third one, Constantino. It's not good that the engine room has, a, has something broken in it. Hopefully we actually make it. <laughs> now I'm curious if, so I, still, I sent Anna to both of these rooms to fix them up. Um, does that queue up their actions or not? Or do they do anything? Constantino, go, go help them out. Uh-oh. Uh. There's a fire? Um... Constantino, do something about that first, actually. Who the hell set fire to their room? Whew. Okay, that was a little close. Constantino, go. Go here. Anna, go deal with the drunk. Or did I, no, I already. All right, so Anna, they don't queue it up unless Anna comes in here. Nope, Anna comes in here. Ah, oh, sort of like a LIFO type of thing, last in, first out. Interesting queue system. 
Uh, and this is stinky and broken, so you... Oh, please tell me you didn't just... Uh, okay. We have to be more careful with the, that because they could have just finished... Because, yeah, this is where all the problems start cropping up. Yeah, so they fix and then they clean. Uh, Constantino, why don't you go here? Because that's like the double clean right there, the, the fix plus clean, two birds, one stone. All right, Dana, you got to get over here. Clean that room. We got a stinky up there. All right. Um, all right, Anna, you've got a stinky broken up here. These, peoples are, these people are hard on a cruise ship. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Setting fire, and now we got a drunkard. Um, show the way, Constantino, you help them out. Uh, you should have finished that first. And Constantino, since you're already going to be there, uh, Constantino. I do wish they let us queue. Uh, Constantino, why don't you clean the stairway? It's just because so many people interact with it. All right, Anna is fixing and destinkifying. Hopefully these things clean themselves. Boy, maybe we do need a little bit extra crew here. <laughs> well, we're almost there. So the point shall be moot. And look at all that money we made. I'm really glad we went with the club. Nice. Goal, final happiness. We, we, we beat them. Reputation gain get. Excellent. Stellar, finish the cruise. All right, now the interesting thing is now, we, now we're here. And now our next choice, our next set of choices will depend on, uh, on basically how we're oriented here. Do we wanna go back the way we came? Do we wanna to go to one of the others? That's our choice in the next episode, if you guys like this. Uh, so if you guys do like this, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!